Welcome back to the LQ Review. I am LQ. Definitely not Jason Voorhees. But we are going to be talking about this guy today. I am LQ and this is the LQ Review where we talk about movies and video games and comic books and TV and all the fun geeky stuff that we love to talk about. Today... We are going to be talking about a horror franchise. And yes, that is the Friday the 13th franchise. I'm going to be counting down the Friday the 13th franchise from 12 to 1, from worst to best. So we're going to start with the number, the number 12 movie, the one that I like the least, and work our way to the one that I like the best. So today it's all about Jason. Let's start with number 12. Number 12 is Friday the 13th Part 5, A New Beginning. Now this movie didn't even have Jason in it. It was uh, an imposter, somebody in the fake mask pretending to be Jason. And you knew it was an imposter at the end of the movie when you realized, no, this wasn't Jason. It made sense because the mask markings, they were blue. And they're the only movie where the mask markings are blue. Now, it did have Tommy Jarvis in his second of three movies. But overall, this was just a really bad movie. And, uh, and Jason wasn't even in it. Number 11, Jason Goes to Hell, The Final Friday. When I was a kid... This was my favorite of the Jason movies because it was so bonkers and it was so out there and it was so crazy. When I rewatched it as an adult, that's actually why I don't like it as much as the other ones because it is bonkers. It is crazy. It doesn't even feel like a Jason movie. It's got a great opening and then the rest of the movie is just weird and crazy and doesn't really fit in with the mythology of the rest of the movies. So that's number 11. Number 10, Friday the 13th Part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan. This one is some serious false marketing. Uh, Jason doesn't make it to New York until the last 20 minutes or so of the movie. The rest of the movie, he's on a boat. He's on a boat, leaving Camp Crystal Lake and making its way to New York. Now, apparently, Camp Crystal Lake connects to the ocean, which brings them to New York. I don't understand the geography of it, and quite frankly, I don't think anybody really thought it out that much. But that's number 10, Friday 13th, Part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan. Number nine is Jason X, also known as Jason Goes to Space. Yes, by number 10, by the 10th movie, they were running out of ideas, and things had gotten so crazy and, and so out there in this franchise that they decided, hey, let's take Jason to space. And it wasn't horrible, but it was pretty ridiculous. It had some good action scenes and uh, some, some good kills, but overall, it's as ridiculous as it sounds. So that's number nine. All right, now we're getting into the movies that I actually really like. Uh, the n number eight is Friday the 13th Part 2. Uh, this is the first movie that introduced Jason. Because um, he wasn't in the first one. His mom was the killer in the first one. Spoiler alert. <clears throat> part 2, it's kind of a rehash of Part 1. That's why it's lower on the list. But it is the one that introduced Jason. He's wearing the uh, potato sack over his head. He doesn't have his mask yet. And, and it's a pretty solid little uh, redo of the first movie. So that's number eight. Number seven is Friday the 13th Part 3, also known as Friday the 13th 3D. This one is, is just silly fun. It's got a lot of silly 3D special effect shots that when you watch the movie not in 3D, you're like, what, what were they doing? What were they thinking? Like there's a scene where a yo-yo um, goes towards the, towards the camera. Uh, silly little shots like that. But it is the movie where Jason gets his mask. There's some decent kills. And overall, it's not a horrible little movie. Number six is the original Friday the 13th. Admittedly, the filmmakers admitted this. This is a rehash of Halloween. They tried to catch that spirit of Halloween and do it out at camp. And, and that's what it felt like. I mean, it felt like Halloween done out at camp. But overall, it's a solid, solid little slasher movie. It created a lot of the rules that slasher movies would go on to follow. And it was... Um, it was kind of inventive in the way it had the POV uh, camera most of the movie as far as the killer. Um, you, the, most of the movie was done from the point of view of the killer as far as the, the, uh, the kill scenes were, were concerned. So that's number six, the original Friday the 13th. I know it's blasphemous to put the original down that low, but I really think that these others are better. Number five, Friday the 13th Part 6, Jason Lives. A lot of people actually have this movie higher on their list, but it got pretty campy at parts. And that's what lowers it down for me. Um, but it is a fun movie. It's the movie that introduces Zombie Jason. And it's uh, kind of the capstone on the Tommy Jarvis trilogy. And it's a lot of, it's just a lot of fun. It's a very self-aware movie. So, so it, it was kind of uh, bringing on that Scream flavor before Scream. Number four, Friday the 13th Part 7, The New Blood. 
the, the concept was basically Jason versus Carrie. Um, the special effects were some of the best in the series, and it was nice to see somebody who was willing to go toe to toe with Jason because she, when she decided that she was going to fight Jason, she, she brought it to him. She brought the fight to Jason. Her name was Tina. Um, the ending, horrible ending, didn't make any sense, but overall pretty solid Jason movie. Number three, Freddy versus Jason. Yep. Number three, silly, fun, uh, lots of gore, lots of action. That's number three, Freddy versus Jason. Uh, number two, this movie gets a lot of hate. Don't understand why. Excellent movie. Friday the 13th, the remake came out in 2009. It's violent. It's scary. It's tense. It's got good pacing. This is a good horror movie, and I don't understand why most people bag on it. Excellent Friday the 13th movie. And finally, number one, Friday the 13th part four, the final chapter. This introduces Tommy Jarvis. It had great Tom Savini special effects. Uh, this is the best in the franchise. This is the gold standard of the franchise. Um, just, a, just a fantastic movie. It had Crispin Glover in it, being really quirky and really weird, doing some silly, crazy dancing. The kills were great. The, the special effects were great. This was the gold standard of Friday the 13th movies. All right, so that's my ranking of the Friday the 13th movies. This is the LQ Review, and I am LQ. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and find me on Facebook at the LQ Review. Thanks.